Okay, helicopter approaching as I approach my street, Randy, here. Passing uh, above the apartments here. We go, turns off, flies, flies over this area. After flying over, turns off. <laughs> appears to be a buzz, appears to be a buzz, and is circling around the area. Circling around the area, he's, he's, uh, he is circling around. PD, as you can see, Los Angeles Police Department vehicle. Okay, uh, just reporting here that um, somebody dropped a note and some money inside my car. I was just going to open the door. Oh. It, it looks like a skateboarder broke it, uh, hit my car. Let's see where the damage is. Oh, I see. Okay, here it is. Fuck. And did this one get broken? A little bit. Son of a bitch. No. Nope. Okay, this is a record. Uh, this is Richard Bruce. Uh, on April 24th at 10 p.m., a quite drunken man and woman uh, were yelling and screaming in the street for about five to ten minutes uh, before finally one of them assaulted my RV. I heard something hit it. I didn't say what, see what they used, but something hit it. Uh, I opened the door and went outside and I knew it was them and it was the, the woman who had actually done it for, because the man was further down the street and they were youngish, Caucasian, maybe uh, uh, late teens, early 20s, uh, quite uh, intoxicated and uh, I yelled. I did not threaten, I just yelled, do not hit my RV and then she made some other excuse and I said again do not hit my RV and keep walking but I did not threaten them I died, and I did not approach them however uh, the male later uh, about five to ten minutes later still drunken walking around on the street walked my my RV and made th uh, threats uh, as he walked by knowing that I would hear saying that he was going to uh, call the police uh, he said uh, it was uh, inappropriate for me to park my RV there and that he was going to have police come and arrest me and uh, so that's just for the record uh, that happened on uh, April 24th at uh, 10 p.m. on Randy Street between uh, Victory and Irwin okay guys so let me fill you in on something I, I was uh, I made a big mistake and I got busted big time by the Lord okay and uh, what happened was um, apparently I don't say I understand it all, but what, ha what happened was I got the idea to take and start an alternative uh, channel that would, um, a, a YouTube channel that would uh, completely separate from what I'm doing now and um, for, for the idea of making some money to, to support myself because, I mean, I got nothing here, you know, and, and uh, ever since I, I uh, posted some demonic distortion self-tests, I really got nailed. Uh, as far as my um, the people that were donating and helping me out, you know, helping me su to survive, because I don't, I don't, uh, you know, I don't have a Patreon account. I don't, I don't really believe in that because it, it, when you have a Patreon thing, you're like, you're like strapped in. The, the owner of the account is strapped in, and the people who are paying are strapped in. I like to be able to give as you, as you see fit, and they, they call that strapped in hard money. Anyway. What happened was, so I thought about doing an alternative YouTube channel on on media, uh, you know, focusing on studying art and, and uh, movies and, and uh, anime and and, uh, and drawing and stuff. And 
So um, I've taken signs, you know, like when something comes against me or my vehicles, I've taken that as as a, uh, as, a, as, a as a reproof, a reproof of instruction. And boy, I've really gotten, since I've been uh, homeless this last, uh, I guess, four years now about, um, I have really gotten blasted. Uh, but, you know, these, these things are good because it's the reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Right, I had to say I'm homeless for that chick. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> see, making more mistakes. So uh, I thought I'd share this with you guys because, uh, you know, this is, um, it's embarrassing, you know, and it's shameful, but um, that's, um, you know, it's, it's so that you can see, you know, that people are human and you make mistakes and these things happen. And you can maybe apply it to, you know, your own experience if this happens to you and you get reproved by God. So um, what happened was I came back to my car. Sure enough, somebody had hit it with a skateboard. And when I looked inside and there was some money and a note, 30 bucks. And it's going to cost me a lot more than that to fix this um, fog lamp that I have in, 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 front of my, uh, in, in front of my Jeep. So, um, you know, and I don't really care about that too much. It's just that, you know, if I don't fix it, it'll look like crap. Oh, there's some weird noise happening over here. Anyway, so um, that's what happened. And, uh, and, then, and then when I came back to my house um, at, at, at night, some uh, drunk people came by and hit it and hit my car. And, and they were screaming for a while, just some drunk people in the streets screaming, ah! And then they hit my car and then I went out and yelled at them and then they threatened to call the cops and have me towed away um, and had me arrested. And, uh, you know, I wasn't too worried about that, but I was worried that they could assault my vehicle, which has happened before. And if, if somebody gets mad in the neighborhood or something like that, and they want to they want to get you, it's so bloody easy. I mean, I'm way out in the open. That's the first time I've had an altercation with somebody. So it's really bad news. And I was thinking I might have to move it. So I'm not sure what's uh, maybe Maybe it's going to get, uh, we'll see if it gets assaulted. But I think I'm gonna for now leave it there and see what happens. But it's a, uh, it's a, it's a. You, I'm like totally exposed. You know, I mean, it's my only place to sleep. And you know, if, if, if people are mad, they can come by with a spray can or a rock or anything like that and and, uh, and damage it. I'm hoping that maybe uh, you know I asked for forgiveness for that last night, and maybe you know I can keep that spot because I've been there for like almost two years be two years this October, it'd be a real suck if I had to uh, change places because there's hardly any place to park. There's, there's no way to go. I mean, the only other place is like this, this trashed out place way down here where, I mean, if you dare park it there, you would be like, you know, you're waiting for an assault like every single day. And, uh, and so... Uh, I guess we'll see what happens, but uh, basically I got, and, and, and by the way, uh, I don't want to assume that the punishment was over, because I thought the punishment was over after they broke the front of my car just a, you know, an hour earlier, and then, uh, and then I'm coming back home, and then somebody's uh, assaulting my vehicle in a drunken rampage, which, you know, I just want to say while I'm talking about that, that I know a lot of people watching this are going are gonna to say, you know, this is... You know, you're you're reading too much into a coincidence. You know, these are just some drunken people, or this was Satan coming against you. And I realize it's a perfectly good argument. I'm not trying to speak against you on that, but the the thing is, is that the way I have the way I've seen this is that what actually does happen to you is what what's the Lord's will. I mean, the, no one breaks out your car headlamps and then assaults your vehicle at night in the same day, like right after you're gonna start an alternative. YouTube channel uh, that that veers away from the work that I was doing with the Lord and have it be and not think that it's a reproof from God. Okay, <laughs> that is that's where I think that there's really definitely something to it, and I've gotten other uh, clues like that as well. I was going to buy a TV, and on my way to go buy a TV, um, I got not one but two parking tickets, and. Uh, and so uh, I, I, you know, in the in the pain, and, and you know, to, to me, I, like other people, it's not a big deal. Like, oh, just nothing. But if you are broke, that can be all the money you have and more. You don't even have the money to pay for it, like hundreds of dollars. And uh, that's all you do. Know, because a lot of times, I, I mean, I've got like 25 bucks and some change in my pocket. That's it. Um, so. Um, you know, if you get a ticket for 175 bucks, really grievous. So what would that happen? I said, well, what, 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 what is this? And I realized that I was on, on my way to, to buy a TV.
So I took that as a reproof from the Spirit. That that's that's what that was about. Was, the Spirit was telling me that, okay, you gotta um, you gotta not buy the TV. And I've seen now actually not being a boob tube watcher for three years now that uh, it really is interesting what you find out about the the negative energy that comes through there. And, and uh, so um, you know that's that's just something that I learned. I think it's it's worth hearing as a witness. So that means I will not be starting an alternative YouTube channel. I'll be continuing on with the one that I have. And uh, you know, I better be very careful and, um, and you know, get, getting back to the Lord. You know, these things happen. You fall off track. It's really upsetting. Um, I, I didn't think that I had you know, like rebelled or done something really bad, you know, because I was thinking in my mind, you know, what I could do is, you know, it's just a way to support myself and then I can, I can, uh, you know, use some of that to, to continue on with my other work. But I guess, you know, that's, that's not what the, what the story was. And uh, I was thinking to myself, you know, I would have turned at the, just at that one reproof of the, of the guy hitting my car and breaking the headlamp out of it. But then, um, then the assault on my RV happened, and so I realized the punishment and it may, may not be over. In fact, those people that assaulted my vehicle and that guy uh, threatened to, uh, he said, you, you know, you're inappropriate to park here, I'm going to have the police come and arrest you, and, and uh, you know, that, that may not be over, um, even though those are drunken, you know, people that are not very bright, uh, they could, uh, that's, that's even more dangerous because they, they're, they're stupid and they might, you know, if they can't have me arrested, which they can't, they can, um, they might uh, take and either call parking uh, parking enforcement and try, try to have some guy come on a regular basis. So I have to check my tire to make sure those little markings aren't there. Or, uh, or you know, worse yet, the worst, the worst thing and the easiest thing for them to do is just assault the vehicle, just drive by and throw a rock at it, or you know, or keep doing that, you know, just to get rid of me. I think they're if they're really pissed and hold a grudge. My hope is that, you know, I pray to the Lord that maybe you know you could soften their hearts because I shouldn't have yelled at them. Um, when when something like that happens and you're really stressed out, you tend to yell at people. And I don't think I was too too off the mark because when people are drunk and and you know foolish like that, and they're and they're you know they're th those kind of people. Um, that's the only language they understand a lot of times, but even so, I should remember the politics that I'm hanging by a thread as it is. And the, the people there have always been real nice as far as that neighborhood goes. And I've never had any problem whatsoever until just now. And uh, it was for my own sin. Yeah.